Today we are doing a dumbbell specific workout. Hopefully some things that are a little bit different. This is gonna be go back to that hit based uh, routine. 45 seconds on, 10 seconds off with a 30 second break in between. We're doing three exercises, rest, repeat, next three, rest, repeat. So pretty straightforward. Um, you will need just a couple of dumbbells, probably nothing too heavy. Uh, we're gonna start off with renegade walks, um, moving on to lateral lunge throws, single leg bridge pullovers. And the next uh, set are shoulder ISO 360 walks, um, forward single leg balance rows and a lunge, and then lunge plank push. Um, so very dynamic multi-planar, um, should be fun. About 15 seconds, so I'm gonna grab my weights. And I'm gonna grab these guys. And I'll start facing you, 10 seconds, here we go. I'm gonna be walking backwards in that plank position. 45 seconds, here we go. So, I can go down, row, row, and then walk, walk. Down, row, row, walk, walk. You get the idea. Then down, and then let's walk back. Opposite arm, opposite leg seems to be the easier way to do that. Don't make it harder than it looks. It already is hard enough. And then walking forward. So forward, forward, down. Last one, and row. Good job. Good, 10 second break. We're doing lateral lunge throws. I'm gonna use a little bit less weight. So 20s, I'm gonna use 15s. So here we go. So lateral lunge, throw, back. Other direction, lateral lunge, throw, back. I'm rotating with it as well. So we add in that counter rotation. We add that frontal plane movement, shoulder strengthening, core, all of the above, adductors, lower extremities. If you need to break this up into pieces, you can also do it like this. Lunge, controlled rotation, drive back up to standing. All right. I'm gonna keep these. Single leg bridge, we can do double leg. Pull over, so I grab both. And you can also use single if you want. So, left leg first, single leg bridge, pull over. Bridge, pull over. We're gonna do both sides for this one. So, don't worry about switching. Goal is to maintain that solid contraction in that glute. Contract, contract through the heel. Core stabilized, good. Also working on keeping that pelvis centered. Notice how my pelvis might drop when I get fatigued. I wanna keep that nice and parallel with the other side. One more time. Good, pullover is primarily working those lats, chest. Things that are gonna work on rotation, controlling a fall, uh, momentum creation, all that good stuff. All right, here we go. Other side. If you want to add in the press, you can do that as well. Good, last one. Excellent. All right, 30 second break, grab some water if we need. We're gonna repeat and do that all over again. All right, it's cold in here. So again, hopefully that all makes sense. If you need to look at it first and then go back and do it, highly recommend doing that as well. So we're gonna start off with those renegade walks. 
and we're gonna start going forward this time. Five seconds left, here we go. Get into position. Here we go, down, up, and then walk, walk, down. Last one, going forward at least, and then Now it's the last one. Up and up. Good job. Okay. Lateral lunges with throws. I'll face this way this time. Here we go. Right side first. Careful with your knees. Keep going, 10 seconds. Last one. And done. Get into position, single leg bridges. Let's do right side first this time. Catch your breath. Here we go. So press, pull over. Press, extend, pull over. Notice I'm breaking it up into pieces. You can absolutely do that. It's easier for me to remember. It's pretty complex. All right, last one. Good. Let's do left side this time without my belly shirt showing. Here we go, left side. Strong side. Good, press, extend. You guys are ready for the next round. All fun stuff. So I notice when I push through my heel, lifting my toes up, I can feel a little bit more of my glute, but it's harder to balance. So I don't necessarily recommend that. And really, Visualizing that glute contraction, which helps. Good, and rest. Okay, next one, shoulder ISO 360 walks, forward single leg balance, uh, row in a hinge, I'll show you what that looks like. And then lunge, forward lunge, or back reverse lunge, plank, push up, and then back. It's almost kind of like a slow burpee, but. All right, grab your weight on the shoulders. All right, athletic stance, just like it sounds. Waddle 360. Drive up. If you wanna go lower, by all means. It's a lot harder though. This looks really funny. And drive up. Good. Last one. And rest. All right, moving on. Forward, single leg balance row into a lunge. 
So I'll show you what this looks like. Right side first. So we do a single leg balance, kind of Romanian deadlift. Row, back, into a lunge. And back up. We're hinging, remember? Not from the low back. Dropping that back leg. And I'll show you from the side what that looks like. Here, here. Dropping nice and soft into that lunge. Driving back up to that single leg stance. Last one. And rest. And make sure my screen is on here. Good. Okay, 10 second break, left side this time. You may notice one side is easier than the other. You'll see that's perfectly normal. All right, there is a balance component here. I could probably honestly use heavier weight, but that's okay. Slow and controlled is the name of the game for this. forward. You'll find that balance point with your chest. And relax. Good job. I'm going to keep that weight and we're going to move on to the lunge plank push and I'll show you what that looks like. Some similarities with the last one. All right, so reverse lunge. Lunge, plank, push, and then right leg up this time. Same right leg back. So you can add that mobility aspect with bringing that left leg forward, shifting that weight onto almost a mini pistol squat, but seeing how far back you can lower yourself, stretching the hip flexor before you transition. It's very much a yoga-ish-esque movement. Last one, and push, and rest. Okay, 30 second break, last round. Moving back to that first movement, shoulder ISO 360 walks. I really need to find better names for these, but you get the idea. Get some water, and make sure to finish strong. I'm gonna use a little bit heavier weight this time for the entirety of this last round. Here we go, shoulders and down. Let's go counterclockwise this time. I take small steps. I can easily do this in larger, but I wanna make this harder, more challenging. If this hurts your shoulders, you can just put a towel underneath that. or use a kettlebell if you really need to. Good. Last one fast. Drive and finished. Okay, next one, that single leg balance. Let's do left side first this time. Again, I'm using heavier weight. So let's see how this works. Again. Oh. It happened. Good. Good, last one. Okay, transition, almost done. Right leg this time before I move on to the last movement. Catch your breath, here we go. 
press, drop. And again, if you need to take longer or space those movements out from one another, by all means. So here, 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 find your balance, row and then back. You get the idea. I've been doing basically kind of one flowy movement. Let's do the last one. But it's also harder. It's more of an isometric movement. All right. Lunge, plank, push. Lunge, plank, push. I need to be more creative. Okay. Left leg back first this time. Nice flexible mobility movement. Push left leg forward. All that weight on that front foot. And then again. Right foot forward this time. Transition that weight forward. And again. It's not a ton of movement variation from the, my feet. It's basically two positions here. Almost done. Finish strong, last push. And that's it. Good job. Let me turn my timer off. That is it, we are done. Hopefully that was a nice quick workout for you, supplemental movement, whatever it may be. Um, as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Otherwise, I will see you all next week and thank you for joining me. Thank you.